It's 1563. Veronese is 35 years old. After 15 months of work, he finally completes his work, The Wedding at Cana. Venice was enjoying its artistic peak. Three painters of genius, Titian, Tintoretto, and Veronese, sang its praises on canvas. The staging in Veronese's canvas is perfectly ordered. He set the scene on a terrace, overlooked by a balustrade and bordered on each side by monuments. The verticality of the columns contrasts with the horizontality of the upper terrace. The upper section, almost empty, lights the ensemble. The banquet takes place in the foreground in a tight frontal space contained by the balustrade, increasing the impression of chaos. The reason Veronese designed his painting like a stage presentation is because he wanted to tell the story as told in the Gospel of St. John. So the people featured are actors. The viewer's eye is invited to wander over the entire surface of the canvas to follow the biblical text. Let's look at St. John's telling of the wedding step by step. They have no more wine, says Mary, miming with her hand an absent glass. Jesus remains immobile, unaware of the unfolding drama. Woman, my time has not yet come. Mary takes charge of things, telling the servants, do whatever he tells you. Jesus finally decides, fill the jars with water, he orders, as impassive as ever. To everyone's surprise, a miracle occurs. A servant pours from one of the jars of water, but the liquid is red, it's wine. The master of the feast tastes the wine and admires its color. Across the terrace, a black slave offers a glass to the bridegroom, and the master of the feast openly declares, everyone serves the good wine first, and when people have drunk freely, then the poor wine, but you have kept the good wine until now. Combining the sacred and the profane is typical of Veronese's work. Like in The Pilgrims of Emmaus, or The Adoration of the Virgin by the Cochina family, he blends a biblical episode with a scene from the present. This juxtaposition was a personal taste, but it also responded to a new wish from the church to make religious scenes more accessible and familiar to the general public. In The Wedding at Cana, Veronese transformed the world and its fashions into something extraordinary and symbolic. He exaggerated postures, amplified proportions and movements, and overstated the luxuriousness of the clothes. He was thus setting a scene in the theatrical sense of the term.